हेलो लवली स्टूडेंट्स आई खुशबू वेलकम यू बैक ऑन दिस वर्चुअल प्लेटफॉर्म सो हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल आर विद इन फाइन टेकिंग केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ आई ऑल्सो एक्सपेक्ट दैट यू आर स्टडिंग प्रॉपरली सो वी वर डूइंग चैप्टर नंबर थ्री द न्यूक्लियर टेस्ट एज वी ऑलरेडी नो दैट अंजलि वॉज नॉट रेडी to accept her grandparents and she was not ready to share anything with them but as the days passed she has adjusted with them and also she became relaxed and pleasant anjali's mother worked in an office and she left along with her father every morning breakfast was always conflicts and it was usually sandwiches for anju's lunch box and when her mother got back in the evening she was so exhausted herself that cooking was never a great activity anjali's mother worked in the office usually when your parents both mother and father works in a office It is difficult to do the housework and office work both together. So her mother also worked in an office. It was difficult for her to maintain both office and house. So every morning she used to leave along with her father for office. So morning breakfast was always conflicts and usually Anju's lunch box was only sandwich. Tell me one thing children if your mom would give you sandwiches daily will you eat no you will feel bored to eat same tiffin every day so anju was always bored to open the lunch box but you all are excited to open your lunch box at school as you want to see what your parents have packed in your lunch but she always knew that it would be sandwich only but now dadi had taken over the kitchen she actually said she was getting bored of doing nothing dadi was a fantastic cook suddenly they were being pampered with the most divine parathas and sabji mithai and pakoras salads and pickles Anjali's mother could now slow down a little and rest her feet. She even had more time for her daughter. She was also immeasurably reassured that her child was in the most caring hands possible. Till one day when the grandparents announced, "We are thinking of going to Rita's place for a while." Everything was going smoothly. But one day suddenly grandparents said that they want to go to Rita's house. Rita is their daughter means Anjali's bua. She stays in Delhi. Before anyone could say anything, Anjali bursted out, "Oh, can I have my room back then?" "Dada, dadi, when are you going?" As dada and dadi were saying, We are thinking to go Rita's place in Delhi. Suddenly Anjali said, "Oh, when are you going then? I will have my room back. No need to share my room with anyone." She was very happy and showed her feelings in front of them. The silence that followed was terrible and only Dadi had some kind and general words to fill it with. Later apart from her room Anjali got the worst scolding she deserved and in two days time they were a nuclear family again but it was a lonely achievement there was no one to come home to but the silly tv there was none to talk to Her mother was again overworked with no time for anything or anybody but most of all the noise and bustle of one big family had faded into silence 
the house all 850 feet of compact space planning suddenly looked too big. Nobody said anything because Dada Dadi felt very bad when Anjali reacted like this. Dadi just smiled and covered her feelings. But afterwards she got her room back but her father scolded her a lot. As within two days they again became nuclear family. But when they went... She again started to feel that house which was feeling as a cage. It became so big because only three members were left now. So when she used to come back from the school, nobody was there in the house but only the TV. And again the mother was overworked and same morning breakfast that is cornflakes and afternoon lunch was also same that is sandwiches. There were no parathas, no sabji, no sweets, no pickles, what her grandmother used to prepare and serve. When the phone rang the following night, just like they had expected it would, it was Anjali who ran and picked it up to say, Dada Dadi, when are you coming back? She was already missing them. She wanted them to come back. It was not even two days when they went and she started to miss them because she realized that grandfather always helped her in project work and math sum. Grandmother used to make variety of dishes for her and helping her, her mother. Grandparents are important not to do the work but their love and care is important for us. I hope you all understood the chapter and you should not behave with your grandparents like Anjali did. It was really very rude. We should be respectful and polite with our grandparents. Thank you for watching the video. Like the video, subscribe the channel. Don't forget to mention your name, class and section in comment box. Have a nice day.